let us see third layer network layer in that layer data are coming from the transport layer in form of the packet and header information at this level h3 is added on the packet and sent to the downward layer data link layer at the data received at the destination site it comes from the data link layer and remove the header information at network layer and pass to the transformation layer so in that layer this is responsible for the delivery of individual packets from the source host to the destination host in detail in network layer packet is a combination of header and the data and this packet are coming from the source to the destination and the network layer responsible for to send this packet deliver to the proper source to the destination packet are coming from the transport layer at that layer network layer the header information h3 is added so this packet it transform or delivered to the data link layer at the destination side coming from the data link layer and removed the header information at the network layer and passed to the transport layer so the representation of this figure is transport layer to the network layer and data link layer so in data link layer the deliveries of the packet on the same network but in case in network layer two different networks so in network layer deliver the packet between the two systems are connected across the different network so when systems are connected on the same link there is no need of the network layer but if two different network and connected to each other with network devising with router and switch so we need a network layer so if we want to send a data from source to the destination we need a network layer so major responsibility of the network layer is to added header information with the data packet in this header information it is a logical address of the receiving side so second major responsibility of the network layer is routing at the networking device so if we are different network at the time router mechanism used for the routing and connecting to the two different network routing and switching so data are coming from the same link we need a switching and then pass to the router and then pass it to the another network so if we need to transfer data from the source to the destination side of different network we need routing mechanism so we can say that in network layer it is responsible for the two major points first is the logical addressing second one is routing thank you